Good afternoon. My name is Dan Cohen, and I'm the Executive Director of Entrepreneurship at Wake Forest University and Professor of Practice at Wake Forest. It's my pleasure to be back here to celebrate the 10th anniversary of eLab. I'm here today with my colleague, Greg Poole, and I wanted to bring Greg from Wake Forest to come to Cornell to kind of absorb the amazing atmosphere and climate and feeling around entrepreneurship that it just makes Cornell so special. So we walked over. I had been involved with the planning of eHub, but had not laid eyes on it. So went over to see eHub in College Town. I've not seen the one yet in Kennedy Hall, but I will. But wow, it is really a, a beautiful space. And, and what, a, what a tribute to so many people that care about Cornell that contributed to make that a reality. And so uh, when we took, took the tour, I asked uh, Kyle Carnes, the uh, CEO of Student Agencies, if we could go and visit the original eLab. And I don't know if you've ever been in there, but it's in, the, it's in the basement of student agencies. And my recollection of it held true is that I could almost touch both walls <laughs> as I reached across and there were no windows and it was uh, a space that was humbling and not really what you would think of when you think of a creative endeavor, but we were very grateful to have it, grateful to student agencies for donating it. Um, but the message is, is that the space didn't matter. What mattered was the spirit of the entrepreneurs inside that space and spirit we had in spades. Um, so we admitted uh, three startups in our first cohort of eLab. E the first two years were a pilot program. We didn't know. Back then, we didn't even know what to call it. We didn't know, if, was it an accelerator, an incubator? Like these terms are common now, but then we just wanted to help students become entrepreneurs. And I think this was true then in 2008. It's true now in 2019. We don't know what's gonna come of these startups. We can tell they're very impressive for sure, right? They're, they're great presentations. They've got tremendous passion, intellect, curiosity. They're doing all the right things, but we don't know what the future is going to hold. But we do know one thing, and that is they are learning a tremendous amount. They are developing themselves for a very promising future because I believe that entrepreneurs learn and, and grow in dog years. And when they go through all of the trials and tribulations of launching a startup, it really adds on in, 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 to their character and to their skill set that will help them throughout the remainder of their life. So, in the beginning of eLab, it was a humble beginning. We admitted three teams. One of them wound up raising $3 million with Wigio.com. They did well, they had an exit. So word kind of got out about eLab. And then the next year, we had more teams apply, and it became more competitive to get in. And now you can see the program has scaled and changed dramatically, and it's very robust and of super high quality. And, and it's just such an honor to be here to see it in its present uh, position. And so I just want to say a couple of words of thanks. I'm, I'm, I'm full of gratitude to the Cornell community. Um, some people that were so important in the beginning, John Jaquette from Entrepreneurship at Cornell, Zach Schulman from Entrepreneurship at Cornell, Mike Carangelin from Student Agencies, Dan Cathan from Student Agencies. I can remember writing on a whiteboard with Bill Trenchard and Dan Summer, two great entrepreneurs. We were trying to help sketch out what this would be, and we knew that mentoring would be a huge part of the program. And Cornellians were so giving of their time and their energy. They always wanted to come in and give back and, and make this program special. So while I was the founding director of eLab, I never felt alone. I always felt supported by the great Cornell community. And that community, as we can all see, is just thriving. And it's just uh, something I'm just very proud to be part of the Cornell family, even though now I'm in warmer climes. Uh, still very uh, proud and grateful to be part of the uh, Cornell family. And when it came time for me to move on from Cornell in 2015, uh, I had developed uh, good friendships with Ken Rother and Tom Scriver and Steve Gal, and, uh, and now the team has grown with, with Andrea and with Brad Treat, and so uh, felt just total confidence 
that this skillful team could take this to the next level and beyond, and that is so clear that that has happened. So proud to be here, uh, totally impressed by this year's cohort of eLab teams, and just absolutely can't wait to see what the future holds for eLab. Thank you all so much for having me. <laughs>